Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We are back for another Monday Market Watch, the Euro look at things on the market and the markets have been pretty wild the last week or so in fact since the last market watch things have changed an insane amount where these boxes of battles of legend have been getting cracked open we are seeing prices go all over the place as you'll notice if you're a regular visitor to the channel this is a weird setup for me well these are getting more and more frequent so i'm beginning to think that this is the norm in any case i've had to make do again with the setup uh, things are a little bit convoluted we won't get into that but in any case we are here to bring you the market watch as we always do on a Monday night. So if this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. You should most definitely hit subscribe before you go any further. If this is not your first time on the channel, I think you're absolutely fucking insane. You should probably not be here. Yet, here you are. So thank you very much in either case for checking in. I'm going to stop waffling. We're going to get stuck right in to the UK slash Euro market watch. As just a quick note, guys, apologies if there are any crazy noises in the background. As you will know from the intro, I'm recording this in an unusual spot in the house, so therefore it's more likely to be much more noisy. We have a, uh, a younger child next door who likes to watch YouTube videos, funnily enough. Uh, very, very loud and gets all very excited, so hopefully we don't have too many interrupts there. I should also note that there is no face cam for this week. Uh, much to your dismay, I'm sure, because you were probably, hopefully, going to stare at my face the entire time. But we've had to cut that out because we had some technical issues last week and I want to kind of figure out what's going on there before I inevitably spend hours editing this video only for it not to work. So if you're wondering why there's none of my face, that's exactly why. But anyway, I'm talking shit as usual. Let's get stuck in and take a look at some of the changes in the market over this side of the pond. So as always, our criteria here is in English uh, and we normally go for good condition or higher. That's normally what we're looking for. Of course, first dead is certainly preferable, but we'll take a look at the others where that isn't applicable. So we're going to start off with the big hot talking point. At the moment, everyone is cracking open these boxes of Battles of Legends, and it is driving a lot of the prices down. We have seen some go up, and we've seen some continue to go up. However, cards like Numeron Network, which were only just a few days ago, were 30, 40 euros a piece, are now as low as 10 euros if you want them in English. I would say, if you're partial to something in German, the German sellers are doing an absolute fucking service for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and undercutting each other like crazy, and you can get them a lot cheaper. I won't show that now, because fuck that. But Numeron Network, you can now get them for €10 Euros a piece and under, if you so wish. This is absolutely insane, considering, like I say, not even a week ago, people were paying £100 for a playset of this card, and now you can get it for 10 Absolutely insane. Uh, I've now finally got my core, because the whole core cost me uh, less than €50 Euros for the whole goddamn thing. Not something I was planning on doing, but when the price is that low, you can't really resist. But we'll move on and take a look at some of the other cards. So much the same with Numeron calling again a card that everyone sort of was expecting to be a bit more expensive. We were looking at maybe 30s to 40s before on uh, the previous card. Now with Numeron calling again, this was, you know, maybe 10 or upwards. We're now seeing these as low as 2 Euros. If you want to go for German, again, you can get them that shade cheaper, if you don't mind having different languages. Uh, much the excitement, I'm sure, of our North American duelists, who tend to quite like our European cards. You can get nice foreign language ones for nice and cheap. But in English, you can still get them for two euros a piece. That's absolutely insane, considering you can get the entire engine now for under 50 euros. That's all we're going to cover on the Numerons. We're going to now take a look at Trishula. Uh, again, another card that was much, much higher earlier this week. It was closer to €9 Euros a pop. These are now down to €4.50. Euros and 50. What I would say is the jump is probably a nicer investment if you want something that will hold long-term value. But Secret Rares are nothing to sniff at. And what I would say, especially for us European players, this is the first time we'll be able to play this card properly. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what experimentation comes out of that. As we know, traditionally, European and North American players tend to play things a little bit differently. So it'll be interesting to see whether that has any impact on how things are being played in our meta. Again, a weird meta for sure, considering the whole current situation. But we'll wait and see if that has any impact. Again, though, nice and cheap, €4.50, a nice bargain if you ask me. 
Continuing on, we are looking at Invocation, one that has risen up. We have started to see the price come down a touch again over the last day or so. Uh, these were 18, 19 euros a pop the other day. These have come right the way back down. Obviously, a little bit cheaper on card market. 14 euros a pop. I do think that these will go back up. It is one of the shorter printed cards in the set, as far as we know. Uh, for some weird reason, Konami don't want people to have access to this card, which is a bit of a shame, considering it's on print number four now. You would think that this would be a bit easier to get, but... That's by the buy. So you're probably looking the best part of 45 euros to get a play set of these. Fortunately, everything else in the invoked engine as a whole is just really crazy cheap and to be honest with you there's an awful lot of it especially the higher rarities that if you can get them cheap now is probably a good time because they are going to start to creep up as people get into the deck and they want to bump up those rarities so 14 euros a pop for invocation not too bad at all another card that has been short printed to shit fossil warrior skull knight fortunately this is starting to come down in price these were almost 15 euros a pop uh even just a few days ago especially on ebay closer to 20 considering the rest of the deck is so cheap and it is an anime fan favorite it's a shame that we would see it so expensive so i'm glad to see these prices coming down i get a far more respectable about 10 euros a pop that you can get them for now again probably cheaper if you don't mind going for some other languages i do think that we'll see these go down and probably plateau towards that seven or eight mark uh, again because there's not really a high demand for them um it's all well good being relatively rare, but if nobody wants to play you, the demand isn't there, therefore the supply is high, and therefore anybody who knows anything about money knows that the price is likely to come down to try and shift them. So if you are interested in looking at picking these up, the rest of the court is absolutely buttons, uh, and this is the only card with any relevant value. Just a few more cards I wanted to continue to look at from Battles of Legend. Again, this is going to be the primary focus of today's Market Watch. There will be a few other request cards after this. Should be a shorter one than usual, but there you go. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Dragon of Armageddon. When everyone realizes this was shorted to shit, the price is shot up. They are slowly coming down again. Um... Other than this, we've only really got the prize card variant, so there isn't many options out there for you if you want to play this card. This is what you're going to have to pick up, unless, of course, you've got a few hundred or potentially up to a thousand, depending on which version you get. Um, 27 euros a pop isn't too bad. I do think this will settle a tiny bit lower than it is now. But again, if you don't want it in different languages, you can get it a little bit cheaper. Personally, though, I think even at 27 euros a pop, even 30 euros, I don't think this is a bad pickup. If you're someone that intends to play this card, this is, again, you kind of just have to pay what is out there. And €27 Euro seems pretty reasonable. Again, though, if you're someone who doesn't mind holding out, you can probably wait a few more days when more boxes are opened and the prices will drop very slightly. Next up, we're going to cover the two cards that we couldn't cover before uh, because it was an awkward one. We're looking at the two special print cards. You already know what they are. Number 39, Utopia in uh, some made-up language, Astral Language. Uh, interestingly, I've had a lot of people ask me if you can play this. If you didn't already, you can. You just have to have an English translation available. It is still treated as a TCG card. Therefore, it is available for play. Uh, and also, it doesn't say that it's not available for play. So, there you go. In any case, the prices are absolutely coming down on this. I'd seen these when they first came out. Again, towards this €400 Euro mark. And we can see that on the screen. Now, they are slowly coming down. 375 is the going rate. I do think this will go down a little bit. But it probably won't drop much more than it is now. The key thing to remember here is that whilst this is... Probably not as hard to pull as the other one. I can't confirm that. Though. That's just my sort of speculation in any case. Uh, this is one of the ones that is playable. So people will probably tend to prefer this over the 10,000 even though the 10,000 is probably slightly higher in value but we will go ahead and take a look at that in a moment again 375 euros uh, it's certainly no small chump change really nice thing to pull if you can get hold of it uh, or of course if you're somehow lucky enough to be able to trade into it that's pretty cool too again it remains a playable card though so that is a nice little touch so as discussed we're on that 10 thousand dragon we're about a thousand euros a pop at the moment however they are slowly coming down i've heard of these changing hands for closer to half of this now we are talking about with vendors so there is something to think about in that but just saying you can get things a little bit cheaper out there if you know where to look however if you just want it and uh, you want to get hold of it then it's closer to a thousand euros my personal opinion it looks fucking shit uh, i've seen one in person um <laughs> And I wasn't impressed. The red writing looks absolutely horrid. And uh, you, you, yeah, you'd probably have to pay me to take it. Well, that's not true. Who doesn't like free money? But in any case, uh, best part of a thousand euros for you real collectors out there, though, of course, this will inevitably be something that you need in your collection. I'll be interested to see what the highest listing is on this, just out of interest. 
Oh, okay, sure. A uh, hundred thousand euros if you want to pay that for it. Uh, that's fucking ridiculous. Uh, Venetius nineteen eighty nine. I guess I'm just chancing it, or maybe this one uh, tickles your nuts after you buy it, or something. I don't know, but that's that's a lot of money. It, it shouldn't be that high. In any case, best part of a thousand euros if you want a ten thousand dragon, or of course if you're willing to wait and you've got cash, you can ask around, and I'm sure you can get it for considerably cheaper. Okay, so onto the tip-off section. Uh, a few cards I've heard about over the last few days that are supposedly becoming more relevant and or have some weird value thing going on. So we're going to cover them. Uh, don't know too far ahead as to how relevant these are, but we'll find out. So no material. I've heard some spicy stuff coming up about this. It is worth noting that we've potentially got a reprint on the horizon with the tins. So that's probably why we've got the prices as they are now. It is worth noting though that this is the original print. It's unlikely to be a higher print in, in the tins. So we're unlikely to see, say, a prismatic rarity of it. Uh, it's more than likely going to be something like an ultra. If you want someone, if you are someone who wants the original Rarities in first ed, you can get them from six euros and 48 and upwards. Uh, under 10 euros in any case, and definitely under seven euros if that's something that you want to get. Probably not a bad pickup, something to have in the collection. Again, these uh, these first printings of these things in the highest rarity always hold some amount of value, and if it does, does become relevant, you'll definitely be making some free money. So this is one of the request cards. I don't really understand this. If you do, definitely let me know. Photon. Orbital, these are a minimum of 21 euros, that is the cheapest, and anything above that is 30 euros plus, but we are quickly seeing these disappear even at this level uh, in English, most of these are 40 or above, which is absolutely insane, again if you guys understand what this is for, definitely let me know, I don't understand it myself, maybe it's just one of them things that's kind of hard to pick up, because it's in one of the legendary duelers packets, or packs, or whatever the fuck you want to say, but... It's very expensive in any case, and again, if anyone knows why, definitely explain it to me. Nightmare Unicorn, specifically the Mega Tin version. Uh, a minimum of six euros. This isn't too bad, to be fair. I think if you're someone who needs a copy of this, six euros is not too bad. Uh, all the way through, right up until around nine euros. Again, as cheap as six to seven euros is about the going rate. I don't think that's too bad for a price. It is slightly higher than it was before, but again, not too bad in my opinion. We're taking a look at Giant Rex, one that I hadn't actually expected to see even this high. I was expecting it to be close to three to four euros, although I got mine a long time ago. And we have seen it yo-yo all over the place, over the space of the last month. As you can see at the beginning of our graph, a month ago this was at seven euros, and it's been up and down, up to around nine euros, and all the way down to five and yo-yoing in between. Currently around six euros a pops are somewhere in the middle of the two. Uh, again, it's one of those cards that only really sees play in one type of deck. However, I guess it could potentially be played in rock dot deck because Gigante Spanish, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. In any case, around six euros a pop for those of you who are interested. If you want to play dinos, this is probably a key part of it. Next, we'll look at another request. Uma Strix for the most bullshit deck on the planet. I absolutely hate Subterra. If you're watching this and you play Subterra, uh, go away. Um, we don't need people like you around here. This is a minimum of five euros, eight euros or above, pretty much apart from the bottom end one. Um, I don't think you should spend money on this because I fucking hate it and you shouldn't play this deck. It's bullshit, uh, and you should get a better deck. So that's all you need to know. We're moving on to Cosmo Dark Destroyer, one that has yo-yoed up and down a little bit. But overall, the price has been pretty consistently between 10 and 20 euros. Currently, around 12 euros to 15 euros is about the going rate. I was actually expecting this to be a little bit higher than it is. I know not too long ago, these were 20 plus. Um, so again, to see them at this sort of price range is actually quite impressive. And again, it's one of those things where, sure, there is other prints of it, but who really wants anything other than this nice original print? And again, it's not something that's going to get reprinted anytime soon. So if you're the kind of person that wants to play something like Cosmo, you might as well just spend the extra and get the nice secret rare, which are at a pretty reasonable price point, in my opinion. We are on to our last couple of cards for today's Market Watch. Spellbook Library of the Crescent, the Astral Pack version. Uh, someone asked me to cover these. These are as cheap as you fucking like. Uh, no more than two euros, depending on what you're looking for. But anywhere from eight cents and upwards, you can get yourself a playset for under a euro. So uh, yeah, it's nice and cheap for you, whoever you are. 
And the final request to cover today, anti-magic arrows. A minimum of nine euros and upwards uh, for something in really good condition. Uh, that's ordering from Portugal, so you do have to consider all of the other bits and bobs there. You know, probably looking closer to 10 euros of postage in there. Uh, unsurprising, I'm surprised we haven't seen a reprint of this yet. Uh, this is the kind of thing I'd expect to come in a structure deck at some point, but here we are. It's currently 9 euros a pop. You want yourself a playset, you're probably looking about 30 euros all in. And that is everything for the day's market watch. Thank you for making it this far. If you have, again, I think you're absolutely bonkers. It's pretty insane that you have you're some sort of weirdo, but thank you in either case. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's market watch. If you do want to make sure that you don't miss out on this, we do it every single Monday. You should definitely hit subscribe. Probably hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Of course, we do plenty of other content. We do deck profiles, how to... We do vlogs, we do a bit of fucking everything like a good YouTuber should. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. If you haven't already, once again, you most definitely should hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe, and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in, and I'll see you in the next one.